Prince Philip warning, Duke's situation yet to be finalized despite palace announcement. Prince Philip's plans for the future are yet to be finalized as the Queen is set to return to Windsor Castle after the summer break, a royal commentator said. While Buckingham Palace has clearly explained where the Queen will reside in the coming autumn and winter, Prince Philip's future whereabouts are yet to be decided, an expert said. Daily Express royal reporter Richard Palmer wrote on Twitter, I understand Prince Philip's plans when the Queen returns to Windsor have not been finalized yet. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh are to leave their Scottish home next week, Buckingham Palace revealed yesterday. In a statement, the palace said, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh will depart Balmoral Castle during the week commencing September 14 to spend time privately on the Sandringham Estate. Subject to the finalization of the autumn program, Her Majesty's intention is to return to Windsor Castle in October and to resume the use of Buckingham Palace for selected audiences and engagements. These plans will be kept under review and will, of course, be subject to all relevant guidance and advice. Whether Prince Philip will remain at his five-bedroom cottage in Sandringham or will follow the monarch to Windsor is still to be revealed. According to a source, palace officials are working to create a Covid-safe bubble between Windsor, London and Sandringham to allow the elderly royals to move across these residences safely. The insider told the Daily Mail, this is something that they have been planning for a while and will enable them to create a new bubble in order to continue to see each other while Her Majesty commutes between Windsor and Buckingham Palace for official duties. The Duke of Edinburgh has spent the past few weeks with the Queen at Balmoral Castle. The elderly royals have been shielded from coronavirus thanks to their staff, who are on a strict rota which bar them from mixing with people outside the castle while residing with the Queen and Prince Philip. A restricted number of guests have also been allowed to visit the Queen and the Duke over the summer. In early August, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, Prince Edward and their two children were photographed on a socially distanced walk with the Queen. Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Spank were also spotted arriving at the estate in mid-August in casual attire. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William and their three children also travelled to Scotland before school reopened to Prince George and Princess Charlotte. According to sources, while the Cambridges were at Dalmoral, the Queen spent some time outside with her three great-grandchildren. Gate and Prince William were said to be over the moon to be able to reunite with the elderly royals for the first time since March. A royal source said, like every family, they've been desperate to get back together and over the moon it was possible this weekend. They've all been up there for a few days and although there are very strict procedures with social distancing, they've been able to find ways of seeing each other outside. It's obviously been a difficult year for the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh seeing the country dealing with the pandemic, so they were all keen to go there to show their support. Despite all royals were happy to be reunited with the monarch and the Duke, no guest was allowed inside the main house for safety reasons.